We're not in Ohio anymore. Well, a while back we released a video uh, trying to find out if the DJI Mini 2 drone can start up from over a half a mile away. And in that video we received a comment uh, from Winger who was asking if the DJI Mini 2 drone would be able to land and then take off again from a pitched roof or if the IMU error would prevent that. So Winger, that's what today's video is about. We're going to be simulating a roof, different pitches, and we're going to be launching and landing from these different pitches. We're going to see where the IMU uh, error actually comes into play. We also released another video a few weeks ago where we learned what the IMU is. So if you want to check that video, it'll be uh, linked in the description. Well, the way that a roof pitch is determined is pretty simple, actually. Um, in, the, in the U.S., the roof pitch is figured out by uh, how many inches of vertical rise there is to every 12 inches of horizontal extension. Yes, I read that. <laughs> you know, that's right. <laughs> Let's get Jack out of the box. We'll get this test going. All right, everybody, so this is our setup. This is our adjustable uh, pitched roof. We borrowed a board from our friend. We had to put a deposit down on the board too, which kind of was mean. <laughs> no, we didn't. <laughs> anyway, this is our pitched roof. We're gonna be able to pull it up and down. We've got a uh, car mat actually clamped to the, uh, to the board so the drone doesn't slide down the, uh, down the board during the test once we get up to these higher angles if we're able to. But I'm going to go ahead and start the screen recording. And uh, this board right now as we speak is set at 5 degrees. So we're going to go in 5 degree increments. We're going to go 5, 10, 15, 20 and so on until the IMU comes up and uh, calls a quit to this test. So 5 degrees. Whew. Not a breath. <laughs> a lot of work setting all this stuff up guys all right so five degrees here we go let's see if we'll start up now he started up and he took off without any problem all right so five degrees let's let's give it a land but let's try to land it why did I say it like that that was weird <laughs> all right so we landed at five degrees without any issues so let's go to ten degrees all right so here we are at ten degrees I don't have an IMU issue yet. Started right up. I'm in this warning zone. And you took off at 10 degrees. Please check it on the map. Very, very good. Now let me get straightened up here and get them landed at 10 degrees. There he goes. All right, perfect, 10 degrees. Next stop, 15 degrees. All right, here we are, we're at 15 degrees. Starting to get a little bit, a uh, little bit steep. Let's see if we'll start up at 15 degrees. Take off. Start it up. And he took off. All right, so taking off at 15 degrees is not a problem. Let's see if we can get them landed at 15 degrees. Landing. And landing at 15 degrees was easy. The IMU still hasn't kicked in yet, the IMU error. So next stop is 20 degrees. All right, 20, 20 degrees. We at 20 degrees or 15 degrees? 15 degrees. You have to go to 20. We have to go to 20. All right, so I'm going to 20 degrees. Are you kidding? <laughs> this is going to take quite a while. <laughs> We're going to have to come up with a different plan. All right, so here we are, 20 degrees. No IMU error. He started up. The home point has been updated. Took off Please easy. Check it on the map. Took off really easy. Let's land at 20 degrees. Come on, Jack. I know you can do it, buddy. Landing. We've landed perfect at 20 degrees. Wow. 25 degrees. No IMU error still. Take off. 
no warning. Start it up. The you took right off. Updated. Please check it on the map. I wonder if Jack even has an IMU indicator. <laughs> 25 degrees, man. Now, now the wind is starting to pick up. It's making it a little harder to land. Whoa, back up. All right. Landing. And he landed again at 25. This is 25 degrees, right? Wow. Yeah. 30 degrees is next. Man, this is starting to look really steep. <laughs> that stack of stuff looks pretty shady. <laughs> All right, 30 degrees. <laughs> oh, he started up. There's still, there is still no air indicator. The home point has been Dude, he, did you see him spin? All right, let's get him landed. All right, landing at 30 degrees. Come on, buddy. Landing. <laughs> he was off the mat. <laughs> All right, 30 degrees, successful. All right, guys, 35 degrees. Let's get them started up. There's no air indicator still at 35 degrees. Jeez. Watch your head. You're in the bushes. I'm in the grapevines. <laughs> I'm in the weeds. <laughs> All right, 35 degrees. Let's get him started. There he goes. There is still no air. Do you see that? That could have been ugly. That could have been ugly. It's a good thing we have him on a, on a solid surface where he's not sliding because that could have been a, a bad takeoff. <laughs> 35 degrees. All right, let's land him at 35 degrees. Let me get him a little bit to the left. There we go. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on. He stuck it. <laughs> 35 degrees, he stuck the landing. All right, 40 degrees is next. All right, guys, well, we ran into a little snag here. Uh, we went to go up to 40 degrees and the IMU error kicked in. So Christy's gonna raise this up until, uh, until the point where the IMU error comes up um, because it's below uh, 40 degrees, but it's above 35. So all right, go ahead and raise it up. Oh, stop. You went way too far, I think. All right, all right, stop, go, go back up. Right there. Oh, up. Up or up. down? There you go. All right, so the IMU error is in now. What's that reading? 38. 38 degrees. All right, go down. All right, stop. What's it at now? 37. All right, so 37 degrees, we're good. Go back up to 38 again. Stop. Go back down. Okay, so... That's 37. 30, 37 degrees is the, is the limit, I guess. So the IMU error kicked in at 38 degrees. So we're gonna, we're gonna raise it up to the 38 degrees where the IMU error is there, and we're gonna see if I can even get them started. Okay, we got Jack all situated. We have the IMU attitude error. We're at 38 degrees on the board. I'm gonna just see if he'll start up. Nothing. <laughs> all right, so I'll, let me go over to the camera and I'll show you. You got nothing. So it's preventing me from starting up. 37 degrees is the limit on how high of a, uh, or how, uh, much of a pitch of a roof you can take off from. But we're gonna see if we can land on this. So we're gonna launch Jack. I'm gonna launch him by hand. <laughs> then we're gonna land him right there. Oh, it's thundering. Been All right. Check it on the map. So I'm gonna get him over the landing pad. And we know that there's an IMU error, so hopefully he doesn't break a uh, blade. <laughs> could be bad. This may not be, again, the smartest thing that we do. But have you, have you seen our channel before? All right. All right, Jack, here we go, buddy. I'm setting you up for failure. Oh, Landing. nope, don't land yet. Come on. All right, you back up a little bit, go to the right just a hair. Man, the wind is really starting to kick in. Man, he's drifting like crazy. This wind is bad. <laughs> Jeez, I can't even get them situated. <laughs> That's so windy. Landing. All right, buddy, grab, grab. All right, he landed at the IMU air and I can't take back off. So guys, that's an answer right there.
One of the biggest things that I learned today, I think, is uh, you can land and launch from pretty much really steep angles. But if you land on a pitch roof, you got to be really careful of what the surface is because if it's a slippery surface, there's no way the drone's going to stick and it's going to slide off the roof. So another thing that we also learned is whenever you're landing and launching from an angle like that, you want to make sure that your gimbal is in, uh, that you're facing the actual hill or the incline because if your butt end of the drone, of the Mini 2 anyway, is facing the, the incline, those uh, blades will catch and you might damage your props. That old myth about you got to have a flat level surface to launch and land from, we totally busted that. Hey, she didn't leave me hanging. It's as big as a chicken. Chrissy's been editing this video and she said, she had a really good question. She said, well, what, what would the IMU error come into play if you were landed sideways or backwards? I was like, it should be the same. Well, guess what? It ain't. <laughs> Just wanted to let you guys know we did test that too. And backwards, the angle is actually 45 degrees. And then to the sides, the angle is 41 degrees. So if you guys can explain that one, please let us know in the comments. We hope that you enjoyed the video. Y'all take care. Have a good week. God bless. God bless. You know how I hate a fight. Almost as much as saying I'm wrong, you right. Stuck here sitting on opposite sides, wondering how we'll change each other's minds. Could be here all night Different angles